love bugs is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome into my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family just thank you for the love and support just loving the video supporting the videos and you know just dropping down kind lines it's just letting me know that you know what i'm doing is obviously taking effect <laughs> so I'm totally grateful for that. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And also, I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and sending you towards a positive direction if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or you know that you want to share please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites and once again thank you so much for showing the the you know my videos love and support and my channel as well and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today and the music that i'm listening to okay it's called ricky Zen meditation music, peaceful, relaxing music for positive energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about um, Twin Flame 101. Hey, hope is when your gifts get overwhelming. Um, I know y'all know what that means. <laughs> I know I know y'all know what that means, and I know y'all know what it feels like. Um, being clairvoyant and being a medium and all the other things that I have is um, it's a blessing but it's also a curse as well um y'all know I haven't been you know doing a video yesterday and I usually try to tell y'all when I'm not gonna do videos but it was just for the last few days I've been feeling stretched out like all over the place I didn't even want to make any videos feeling that way because I didn't want that that energy going off to anybody else and um I've been having dreams about uh, different people that has impacted my life in a different way. People I haven't even met. Some people I have. Um, but there was this one, I don't know if anybody has ever watched this uh, show. I've, I've brought her up in my videos before if you've been with me for a while. Um, and her name is Debbie Constantino. She used to be a medium on uh, Ghost Adventures on the A&E channel. And um, she had passed away over a murder-suicide uh, back September 24th of 2015. So uh, uh, lately she has just been coming to me and coming to me and letting me know that she wanted me to tell her story. And um, I don't know what it is uh, that we've connected but i guess it's just because she's an empath medium too as well she's multi-gifted and um she's came to me um before and it was already a complete shock to me because i mean i love seeing her and her husband on the show when i did watch it a lot i haven't watched it in a while but i know it was a lot dealing with things that was going on um zach Brigands, i think that's his last name that has the show uh, Ghost Adventures. He did a movie, um, I think it was a year or two ago, called Demon House. I think the house was in Ohio or Indiana or something like that, where this this black family lived in it, and it was like hell raising all in the house. It was like a black conjuring, basically. So um, Zach had went ahead and called uh, Debbie and asked her you know look i'm having problems with this house i'm really trying to figure it out you know people are starting to attack people for no reason you know kids are flying up walls you know in front of dfs workers they you know they pat they got the heck up out of there when they start seeing stuff going on but it is just like dealing with all that stuff um i know zach kid tore down that house and he has been you know he's an empath as well too and he was just dealing with a lot of overwhelming feelings feeling like that you know debbie and mark was helping me out with this and next thing you know this happens and it was a lot it's just like anytime she comes to me it's really heavy because it's like 
seeing the last few minutes of somebody's life. It's not good. Um, it, it was just things that um, you can't erase. So it's it's really been wearing me down. Like I've been having dreams about this. And she wanted me to tell her story about domestic violence. You know, um, there's a lot of people that deal with narcissistic people um, that are in abusive relationships that have been, you know, programmed to the point where they, you know, they don't know how to get out, how um, to be free how to let go until it's too late and I'm sorry y'all um it's just like seeing her you know she was just like don't be mad at Mark you know no marriage is perfect you know but the last year is what sent him over the edge and um I guess that kind of figures that he has that guilt that if he never called her to ask her to do that assignment for him, they would still be here. Debbie was one of the 1,044. She knew this was going to happen. And she wanted her story to be told. She was um, not just a medium, but she was a domestic violence activist. You know, she's been, you know, in and out of jail with, um, you know, her and Mark getting into it. And it's just seeing all that. She, she tells me it's time for me to heal. It's time for me to let go. You know, I've been through stuff like that. You know, it, it should never go that far. So, is when she was going out there and, you know, letting people know, you know, stand up for yourself. You know, not every fight has to be a fight back. Try to leave. You know, I know there are some, certain issues where people, it's hard for them to leave. They get stalked. They get, you know, harassed. You know, paper, they even get a restraining order and paper is just paper, you know, nowadays. Um... But if you are going through any kind of domestic violence, get out before it's too late. You know, I'm in a situation, but it's like less contact. You know, I don't, we're not even around each other around the same time and try not to be, you know, and it's, it's better that way, you know, until things get better. But when you go through things like this, please seek help try to find shelter, try to talk to a friend, but get out before it's too late. So, um, sorry I didn't want to bring y'all down. It was just a story that Debbie really wanted me to say. It was really hard for me to do because I've been debating for this, uh, this vlog for a while because she's came to me plenty of times before, um, and giving me different messages. But, she really wanted me to put that out for her and you know for out for other other people who are going through the same as her she she always wanted people to get out of situations like that she didn't want anybody being in the situation she was in um so um just basically you know try to seek help or just try to get out you know we only got one life <laughs> after you know one life one life but you shouldn't have to lose it that way so if anybody can resonate with this i hope you know this can find your heart some way i know this message had to reach somebody because she's been wanting me to do this she's been i've been slipping up calling Joni debbie today <laughs> and i've never done that so i know that she's been heavy on my heart and i didn't want to bring anybody down but this is the reason why i have not did any videos it's just uh one of the reasons why i was just drained so, and that just tipped me over the scale. So, you already know with 
having gifts like that, it can be very overwhelming. Seeing things that you don't want to see, can't unsee them, can't forget about them. But, you know, just try to seek help in the best way possible. So I hope you're able to resonate with the video. Like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. Or give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Know you are blessed, loved, and highly favored. You're beautiful. You're handsome, smart, and you can be anything that you want to be. And you will be anything you want to be. And do not let anybody else tell you different. So... I'm seeing infinite abundance, at least a little bit of energy and love vibes I'm sending y'all's way. So stay blessed, stay prosperous, and I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.